Hello everybody and this may look familiar. I may already have a video on how to download these materials and add them to your 3ds Max. But I want to show you a quicker, easier way of doing this rather than the outdated version I had before. So this will be a very short video because it's very, very simple. So this website has tons of materials. You can see there's 190 pages. But you can find basically anything you want on here. And when you download these, you get a folder that has this stuff inside of it. You have the fuse, normals, all the different things. So I downloaded this material right here, the rope. Now, granted, you do have to make a profile. They don't email you. I've never gotten an email from these people. It's free. There's nothing to it. You just make the profile and you can download whatever you like. So I downloaded this one. I figured it has some different maps to it and I can show you how to install those. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to 3ds Max. I have their sample scene here just for easy sake. And once you have 3ds Max open and you want to bring this material in, you're going to click M or you're going to click on your material editor up here. When you click M, you're going to get your typical compact material editor. Now this is the way I showed you doing it last time on how to go through each one of these and find your materials. But there's a much simpler way. Go to Slate Material Editor, and you're going to get this scene here. Now, some of you may know what this scene is. Some of you may have never used it. But this is much quicker and easier for getting your material. Next, you're going to go over here to the left. It says Material Map Browser Options. Click on that and do Open Material Library. Now, you're going to navigate to wherever you have your downloaded folder at. Make sure you unzip it as well. So I go to my desktop here and go to my downloads. I have the material right here and you're going to see this map file in there. So you're going to click on that map file. So now I have these here. Now I'm assuming all of these are exactly the same. It's just the guy saved it out many times. So you're just going to grab it and drag it into your area. Now you can see you have your bitmaps here. Instead of going through all the different things in compact mode trying to figure out where maps are etc. All you have to do is just double click on that bitmap and you can see this is sweater underscore diffuse dot jpeg. So if I click on this, sweater diffuse, right there. Next one, sweater reflection. Click on that, there it is. So you literally just click on each one of these and add them in. It is that simple and it is so much easier than doing it through the compact mode. So our material that we just downloaded from that website is already done. It is so quick. So then you're going to take this, you're going to grab whatever you want to apply it to, and you're going to take this little spot right here and just pull it onto your object, assigned to selection. So now you can see I have this assigned to my selection. Now this one does have a displacement on it, so you do want to make sure that you go into your V-Ray settings, global switches, and make sure displacement is on, otherwise it will not look correctly. Now for the sake of render time, I did already render this out, it's, it is nothing different, all I did was click the render button, and this is the final look. Now I don't have that middle part on there, that was just something that the creator threw on himself, but I have the material. And this was so much simpler, and I really hope this short video helps you guys with materials so much faster than the other video I had. I'm going to leave the other one up because some people do like using the compacts. But now you have an alternative way of downloading and applying materials that I feel is much easier and simpler. So I hope you learned something today. This might not have been a video looking for, but if this helps you, I'm glad to help even just one person. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.